there. We have to put on our marks just because the uh, situation is worsening day after day. We, do, we must not expect something like uh, India is actually paying the price when those policymakers and the politicians actually force the people to go to the rallies, big processions and the demonstrations. And at this very moment, these people are going through amounts of, uh, uh, you know, you know, casualties are actually losing. So many casualties are happening in India at this time. Bangladesh, uh, it's a very small country. Our economic situation, socio political, psychosocial uh, state of the people is worsening day after day. You can't imagine the middle class of the society who are actually going through so much financial crisis. These people cannot actually expand their begging hands to the people. So, you know, I would love to request to the people who actually are really the rich people, they can help at this very moment. If you invest behind these people who have lost their jobs, who are expecting to survive um, with due respect, they have to have these things. I think what I would love to tell the people out there is that whenever you have a situation like this, you must not just see and just stay naive. No, you must not do it. You can have consulted efforts. There are a number of people I, I have actually worked for Vidananda a Foundation when I was a student of Kirogu University, uh, when I was in the second year, third year. For two years in my life, I spent time with them. And there are Jagu Foundation, there are other number of voluntary organizations. There are uh, lots of other organizations which are expanding their health in hands to the, for the people in need. So at this very moment, everyone must actually put on the monks whenever you go out of the house and try to uh, actually share this message to the people that it's not for us. Actually, the situation may get worse. We must not stay naive that uh, you know when you have a situation like this, it may kill the people at an exponential level. So we must not, we must not be ready. Uh, that you know our situation will be worse than Indian people Indian brothers and sisters we must help them they are in need we must forget the political uh, problems political uh, differences and other things so India US Brazil these three countries Italy Spain these countries also suffered a lot we, at the first time we expect we we saw in the, uh, Chinese people uh, suffered most in the hands of this uh, COVID situation in fact, this kind of things actually happen in almost uh, every centuries. So in this very century, we are suffering from this problem. It doesn't mean that we humanities have been lost in the record of human history. We are expecting more people to join us in these efforts. And as a young person, uh, I'm very much uh, you know, unhappy when I see people like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, they have ended their marriage. Uh, with their loved ones just because uh, there is an allegation that Bill Gates is the prime responsible for the emergence of a COVID situation. He predicted uh, uh, a pandemic situation to happen within the next couple of years and it has happened and his speech has come through, uh, his prediction has come through and in time of this pandemic situation these people have made large amounts of money when people can't go out of home and these people are ordering everything Amazon and uh, doing everything online people are spending a lot of time behind Facebook Google and other things so that's why these people are making so much money so uh, online computer uh, people online people they're earning money that doesn't mean that they have to stay naive if they if they're really responsible i do not know exactly whether you believe in god or not i don't know exactly whether you believe in supernatural happenings if if bill gates jeff bezos and other big uh, rich people plan uh, something to happen to the humanity they are paying the price their marriage have uh, marriages have ended and you know of course if someone's loved to one uh, uh, ends their relationship it means they are not a happy person i don't want to tell the very reality people will judge them i am not very i'm not absolutely telling that that's a very absolute truth but i'm actually showing these statements to the people out there that this is the very message to be shown so people who cannot tell oh my gosh i'm going to so much pressure economic uh, insolvencies help them uh, and without telling that i have given this person this amount of money but this person if you invest behind this person that will give you back 
just because they are worthy of being in the very fixed level of success in the development in the very good jobs in the best jobs of the society but they do not have their jobs in the society i tell you those people who are the responsible for this crisis they will pay the prices the policy makers politicians they must take the right decisions for the poor people for the middle class of the society otherwise everyone will pay the price so things must not get worse day after day and let it be up to it goodbye for now